that I found that the wide open spaces concept isn't quite what it's cracked up to be. I felt cooped in in the wide open spaces because I was so afraid to get lost that the environment around me, while being vast in the physical sense, one could see theoretically for a thousand miles because there was nothing in the way to block your view. It was surrounded on each side um, by dangers, dangers, for instance, of getting lost. This was, to me, the, the biggest danger of all. There's a wonderful cliché, which I hope I may be forgiven for mentioning once more, that a nation is great only as long as it has a frontier. Now, we've got that frontier. Other people are nostalgically having to dip back a hundred years to find their frontier and vicariously become part of it. We've got it, and we we have a very, very small percentage of our population who really take advantage of it in a specific physical way. But for a lot of the rest of us, it is a, a sort of frontier in much more than a physical sense. Now, this does something. We've got a kind of civilization that does not conform to the rest of North America. Here is a place where nonconformists can live and flourish. The kind of person who goes to the North is rather odd. And if you're smart, you'll go on looking for this kind of odd person. I'm afraid it's not very romantic, you know, my wanting to go up there to find myself or to lose myself or all these various reasons that people give for going into the North. The fact that they're North gives them some extra kudos, I guess. They feel, what a sacrifice I'm making. But uh, perhaps I'm a bit uh, cynical. I, I, I don't go for this kind of stuff. But you do get a deliberate building up of uh, a kind of cult of personality.